In my class, they did uh, individual research on the civil liberties of a country of their choice. Uh, so a lot of students picked either countries uh, where their family may come from or countries where they recently visited on vacation. Uh, so there was a lot of personal connections there. And they looked at the civil liberties of the country, uh, specifically as it relates to the civil liberties score that they got from the democracy index and found examples of where uh, that score did or didn't match what they saw in the news. Yeah, I chose India because that's like where my family's from. And I just found it like interesting because my grandpa like used to live there. So I just like, felt a connection to it. Have you learned anything really interesting so far in doing your research? It's more similar to America or to the US government than I thought and like how they're both like democracies. But I also was like shocked to find out about the like um, police brutality in India. The first one I'm researching is um, East Asia and like Southeast Asia, sort of that area. And then the other region, uh, I'm doing the Middle East, North Africa region. Uh, I think it was interesting just to look at what countries were considered to make up uh, those regions. Because, um, you know, East Asia, it's the main ones you think of, I think are China, Japan, the Koreas, but it can also be considered, you know, like based on cultural ties and they have rooms to include Mongolia and Vietnam and the same thing with the Middle East and North Africa because with the Middle East you mostly hear about just like a couple countries but it's like a big region there's a lot of different places like Bahrain and Qatar so I'm excited to learn more about those countries.